at sunrise Chanting, dancing to his name Haribo Haribo He would wake up everyone Right
I would make that one longer if you edited it. Loop it. Yeah. I did it, Chris. Let's see if this will inspire to dance. Yeah.
Oh, cheers. <laughs> we'll have to go cheers. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get up. Come on, Joe. No balls. That's as much as All right, isn't this a great dance for Krishna, man? Sing for Krishna. Man, glorify Krishna. His name is so great, man. This will give us, we're, we're ready to lock up Krishna, man. They can lock the body down, but we lock up Krishna. We keep him in our house every day. He can't leave. We find him in here with his name. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Lord.
Hare Krishna. We lost some fluff for you. He's moulting. He's not moulting. He's losing weight. He's losing weight. He's shaking. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ah. Ah. That's pretty wild. Pretty ecstatic. So, um, let's see here. Got this Chaitanya Bhagavad staring me in the face, sort of. <laughs> so let's read a little from Chaitanya Bhagavad and see where it goes here. Ah. Ah. See, Mahaprabhu starts the Sankirtan movement in the house of Srivas Pandit. Let me know if the microphone is working here. Just plug it in. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichananda. Jaya Shri Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaur Bhaktivinda. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nishananda. Jaya Shri Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaur Bhaktivinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Srila Prampa and Jai Jesus Christ. All glories to the moonlight Gaur Chandra, whose cooling rays benedict. Oh, by the way, this is chapter Majakanda, chapter 2. Uh, Mahaprabhu starts the Sankirtan movement at the house of Srivas Pandit. Uh, all glories to the moonlight Sri Gaur Chandra, whose cooling rays benedict the entire universe. Kindly offer me your lotus feet as an eternal treasure of my heart. Mm. Oh. So all glories to Lord Gorachandra and his devotees. If one hears the transcendental pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya, one surely attains the highest stage of love of Krishna. Advaita Charya Prabhu heard the different comments from the Vaishnavas about the Lord's ecstatic trance, and he was extremely pleased. Overcome with joy, he spoke to the Vaishnavas. My dear devotee brothers, I had a dream last night, which I wish to reveal to you all. I took rest, feeling very sad and dejected. I was fasting because I could not understand a text of the Bhagavad Gita. Sometime during the night in my dream, a person came to me and said, Wake up, Acharya. Take, take your food immediately. I will reveal to you the meaning of the Bhagavad Gita text. However, first you must rise and eat and then worship me. Discard that melancholy in your heart, for your austerities and vows have now finally reaped a full harvest. All your fasting, your worship, and your endless entreaties to the Lord, crying, Krishna, Krishna, and the vow you made with lifted hands for the advent of the Lord will all come to fruition. The chanting of the Lord's holy name, Lord Krishna's holy name, will constantly reverberate in every country, in every town, in every village. By your mercy, everyone will be able to experience 
here in Navadweep in Srivasa's house, devotional ecstasy that is rarely achieved by even Brahma. Okay. So, uh, the chanting of the whole Lord's holy name, Lord Krishna's holy name, will constantly reverberate in every country, in every town, and in every village. By your mercy, everyone will be able to experience here in Navadweep, in Srivas house, devotional ecstasy that is rarely achieved even by Lord Brahma. So that's it, man. Okay. So it's not just chanting, chanting the name. It's chanting this name with the holiness. You know? okay. That's that's really it. And so the Lord said, "By your mercy." See, Advaita Chara's mercy, he brought Krishna down. And and so, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is, so in Srivasa's house, this, this kind of chanting would happen where it's really ecstatic, man. I mean, really beyond, it's like uncommonly ecstatic. It's prema sankirtan, that kind of thing, with the tears and the ecstasy and everything. So we're getting to that place here pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Yoga Maya Devi. Thank you all for coming, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now I will take your leave, but first you must eat. I will appear to you again in the future. Isn't that nice? This is really, isn't it nice to have such a relationship with such a mysterious personality? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the Supreme Lord, God himself. Man. You know, We're all connected anyway, but the thing is, is we've been cut off. Been cut off. What a word, huh? Cut off. You, ever, you, know, you know how people get cut off from their inheritance? Do they like that? No. A lot of people, they don't know they've been cut off from their inheritance. Yeah. You know our inheritance is? Reconnection. You know, from that disconnect. You know, we're connected to him through the Maya because we're we're always got to be connected. So unfortunately, this we got this connection with this, this uh, this darkness. You know, this this twisted reality. You know, and so here we're into reconnecting with that spiritual presence again. Yeah. Now it's interesting. This is all filtering down. This is what I got with this David Ike. His, uh, his, he's in, he's on this trail with this. It's the same basic thing. He also uses the same idea. It's, see, it's like the Lord is working everywhere to make everybody aware that we can be reconnected with this spiritual potency is where we come from. Okay. That's where the power is. That's where the life is. And being disconnected either, uh, you, you know, in the mode of goodness, if you're not transcendentally connected, you're still a little disconnected. A little more connected than a mode of passion. And a mode of passion is a little more connected than a mode of ignorance. See, there's a little more light there. See, but it's still in the darkness. You get a little bit more light in the mode of goodness. It's still in the dark. It's still dark. It's only when we get to the spiritual potency that the full light we see. It's not like seeing a brightness thing. That's that Brahman thing. It's more than that. See? It's this relationship. Yeah. <laughs> it's to be able to chant. And the Lord just say, hey, just take this name, man, and really chant it with faith, especially in association with your with the ecstatic devotees. And then you find out what a treasure it is. And my God, is this get me through this thing that's happening here? You know, you can see, I can see in my students how they're taking shots. Well, you know, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? governments come and go, change. <laughs> but you know what? If you don't have this connection with beyond the illusion, this is really a big thing. I mean, it's really a big thing. People will flip out. They will. They'll. There'll be all kinds of violence, all kinds of rebellions, fights. I mean, we're in a historic time. This is, you know, and this just, and that's the way these things happen all of a sudden, mm -hmm. like a thief in the night. Jesus flash talking, flash in the night, flash in the pan. You know, takes people, you know, like completely shocked. Like, whoa. so here's where our preparation is, comes in handy. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Yeah, Lalita Ganga. Everybody should see Lalita's Ganga's class today. Talks about that. You know, you could just see she's just breezing right through, man. Just like, ah. <laughs> we got the shelter. We got the shelter. We got, the, see, that's it. It's like in Vrindavan. We got the shelter. We have Vrindavan shelter. Govardhan, she even used that. Govardhan Hill. <laughs> the best times, you know. Yeah. So that's like in the first part of the verse, it says, kindly offer me your lotus feet as the eternal treasure of my heart. See, that lotus feet is that love. See, that love for Krishna. See, and, and that practically shows up. Love for his name, love for his pastimes and his qualities. You know, and his character. Everything about the Lord. There's any, even here, if you love somebody, you love everything they do practically. You're kind of blinded by love. You're really blinded by love. Same thing with the Lord. You, you're, but you're you're not blinded per se. You're you're anointed with this love, and it, it makes the Lord's true nature appear. It's very attractive. Yeah. See, by your mercy, everyone will be able to experience here in Navadweep in Srivas's house devotional ecstasy that is rarely achieved even by Lord Brahma. See, by his mercy, what? He brought the Lord down. See? Well, how are we going to bring the Lord? How did, will the Lord come down again? Oh, you're going to have to wait 4 billion, 320 billion years for him to come down again like that. But there's good news. Some strong devotees, strong in relationship, can also bring him down. See? And also distribute this kind of chanting, this kind of ecstatic chanting. That's what's going on here. See, by the mercy of the Lord, he's given us this distribute this kind of chanting where people have some taste. Are you getting taste nowadays, Karuna? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's just every, every second. Every second, man. He's in the zone. That's great. Yeah. When I opened my eyes, I saw Lord Vishwambara. But within moments he vanished from my sight. I do not understand the mysterious ways of Lord Krishna. How he acts and to whom he reveals what secrets. Right? And that was him. You know, he's act, he, It's hard to understand Advaita's mood. He'll say something that's talking about himself, but reveal it like he's in a conditioned soul. The Lord Chaitanya did that often also. Mm. I don't know, and this is the truth. I don't know how the Lord is acting in his uh, in, in his mysterious ways and everything, and because most people don't, they don't understand where the Lord is working in this world. When I opened my eyes, I saw our Lord Vishwambara, but within moments he vanished from my sight. Vishwambara's elder brother Vishwarup used to come to my house and discuss Bhagavad Gita at that time. Vishwambara was a most exquisite child who was most charming to behold. He would come to my house and to call his brother. The little child Vishwambara captivated my entire being with his extraordinary beauty. I would spontaneously bless him saying, may you develop pure devotion to the Lord. I would spontaneously bless him, saying, May you develop pure devotion to the Lord. The child hailed from an illustrious family of great scholars. His maternal grandfather was Sri Nilambara Chakravati. Lord Vishwambara is a great scholar. Problem also, problem. Screen starts to have more problems. I don't know what it is. What do you think it is? Maybe there are too many things. Okay, we're going to take our things off again. It's probably too many connections here. Huh? The pitch is fine here. Yeah, here, but over there somehow it's affected. I would spontaneously so you should put it on flat mode. Yeah. It, or you can just put it on, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's about seven, nine phones on. Ten. Guess why? Ten phones, you know, we're all on Skype. <sighs> and, 
Well, Every one of them, man. Let's see, you got two more over here. One, two, three. Yeah, they're all in flight mode. Four. They're all in flight mode? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, flight mode. All right. Okay, it should, it should get better. We had uh, got about eight phones on this thing. <laughs> so let's see. Let us know if the problem is solved. Hmm. So uh, you want to read a little bit? Yeah. Get your little chair over here. Oh. The child hailed from an illustrious family of great scholars. His maternal grandfather was Sri Nilambar Chakraborty. Lord Vishnubar is a great scholar, so it is natural that he would become attracted to Krishna, to Lord Krishna. It is extremely pleasing to hear all the wonderful activities of Vishnubar. All of you kindly bless him that he may develop the purest and highest devotional mood. May the Supreme Lord Krishna be merciful upon all. You know, this uh, with Lord, Vish Lord Chaitanya, he, all his activities are extremely pleasing and very easy to taste. You know, especially when you hear it from devotees very easily become attracted to Lord Chaitanya. And that's the, that's the saving grace of everybody because then you get attached to the Lord very easily in this incarnation. And that's, I've seen this over the years, people that come, you know, and they hear a bit, they very naturally become easily attached to Lord Chaitanya. That was really the order I got from uh, Prabhupada. I was giving these classes like this, uh, just talking about Lord Chaitanya and, and, and we were all getting ecstatic about it. Yeah, and then Prabhupada came immediately. You know, it was the first time I started to do these things, and 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 everybody was, you know, just really, I mean, crying and they just like were dripping with ecstasy. And Prabhupada came with this big beamy smile on his face, man, just like, "Hey, man, you're doing exactly what I want you to do. This has my approval. You do do more of that." Because what does he want? As Mina said, Prabhupada told her that he just wants people to become devotees. We have devotion, see? And the bridge is Lord Chaitanya, and the bridge to Lord Chaitanya is his associates. They're empowered in order to give this connection. You know? And uh, that's it. It's that simple. Then you're engaged very easily in this prema, that you follow the path of prema. You know, this yearning to meet the Lord, you know, just, do you have that yearning now? Oh, you know? God, yes. Yeah, it's yearning, you know? And, and that's this path. It's eagerness to meet the Lord. And and uh, this is a very advanced level that's very hard to attain. I mean, if you just if you don't if you don't just get it from the way the Lord is is like blessing it, it's like, you know, he's the order is here. Krishna came to my second disciple and and said because of her guru, she is getting this darshan. And she she was just an just a regular person. You know, just a uh, little business lady, you know, very kind of older, older lady. And she was a kind of a Christian, but open, you know. And just after a week, you know, she got the real darshan. I know it was real. It was like a very powerful thing. I was there when the, the Krishna appeared. I didn't see Krishna. She did. But I felt the potency there. And, and her description was amazing. She didn't know anything much about Krishna. They described things that she couldn't even know. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, all, all ducks are in a row. Go ahead. <laughs> May the Supreme Lord Krishna be merciful upon all. 
benedicting everyone to become thoroughly mad with the chanting of Lord of the Lord's holy name. See, thoroughly mad. That's the benediction. Um, if that's not if that's not going on yet, then the, that benediction is forthcoming. Okay? So that's why I say you got to meet the the real disciplic line to get that usually. You know, in other words, because it doesn't come easily. This this transcendental madness. You know, like you see some. Can you imagine we have that description? There is. You see, Lalita Dunga is that an example or Johan? Are those two mad or what? Are they those two fitting that bill? Absolutely. Her too. Is she coming to that point? Then she's getting pretty mad also. <laughs> this guy's a lunatic, <laughs> and so everybody's getting crazy. I'm the only normal person mm -hmm. in the place, man. You know, I'm trying to keep it all together here. <laughs> Manage all of this. Control it. Limit yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Not for the Lord. Uh, yeah. This is brands of colors here. Sound is okay. I try everything. Problem still here. Sound is the main thing here. God, it's so funny. It's working perfectly here. Anyway, I don't want to... Well, just keep going. Unless, you know, maybe I'll just start a new one. Okay, I'll restart the phone. And then and we'll start a new one. Maybe it's this phone that's doing it. I don't know. i got to try a different phone. Okay, so I'll, matter of fact, I'll restart this phone. Read a little bit more. So okay. we're getting ready for a restart here. Okay. If there is any truth to my words, then in the future everyone will come will come to the house of this great Brahmana, Sri Bishmambar. Advaita Acharya Prabhu roared jubilantly, and all of the devotees joined in with him. The Supreme Personality of Godhead descended in the form of his name, and everyone chanted, Hari, Hari! Someone said, Nimai Pandit has now become a great devotee. So he will propagate the congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord and increase our joy. The devote. Okay, so I'm going to do a restart now. Okay. My God. Oh, it says hero is a uh, year is okay. Also, okay. Well, keep going for a little bit. We'll keep, we'll keep going. We'll see. Go okay. The devotees offered their obeisances to Advaita Acharya Prabhu and left in great ecstasy, chanting the holy name of Lord Hari. Wherever Vishwamba met anyone on the street, he would always speak with them with great affection. When he went for his early morning bath in the Ganga, he would meet all of the Vaishnava devotees on the way. When he saw Sri Vastakur, he, he would offer his obeisances. Being very pleased with his behaviour, the devotees would bless him, saying, May you develop unflinching devotion to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. <laughs> oh, chant. Always chant Lord Krishna's name and only hear his Krish only hear Krishna's glories. Oh, my mom said that today. Oh, my mom said that today. Oh. She says that you know people don't want to praise God in India. You know mm. they don't like it. I love I love that. Mm. She said that wow. today. Oh, that's that's nice. Nice. natural devotee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Always chant Lord Krishna's holy names. Oh, and only hear his glories. Everything becomes auspicious and successful when one worships the Supreme Lord Krishna without devotional service to his lotus feet. Physical beauty, learning, etc. are useless. Yeah, this is what gets... See, this is what's going to get people through is this devotion to the Lord. It's the greatest path. It's the greatest protection. People, if they don't have that, and most people, they don't have that, This, all this stuff is insurmountable, this maya, everything. He, devotion 
to the lotus feet of the Lord is the, the supreme protection, armor, you know, for his maya. It's what they, they did. That's how everybody just depended on, on Krishna, their beloved deity, there in Vrindavan, and surpassed all of these obstacles. Right? And that's how we will also, just always depending like this. And, uh, you know, and if you don't have this shelter, this is the tough thing. This is where all the, when the governments change. And you, if you had any faith in something else, if you had faith in the government, that'll smash you. Okay? Same thing. If you have faith in, uh, in, uh, uh, in religion, that will also crumble. You have to go beyond religion. Okay? So, um, yeah. And, and that's why Jesus came, to help people go beyond religion into the truth. Conclusive truth, not materially motivated stuff. And the same thing uh, in Vaishnavism. People have to go beyond the religious aspect. They have to go into the truth. I mean, just being um, um, captivated by it, you know, attracted just the conclusive truth and worshiping the Lord in ecstasy, you know, the spirit and truth, like Jesus taught, Lord Chaitanya taught. Krishna is the supreme father and the life and soul of everyone. Simply try to develop undeviating love for the lotus feet of Krishna, of Lord Krishna. Heartwarming words such as these would fill Vishwambara with joy. Lifting his face, he would grace, he would grace at everyone, he would glance at everyone showing his mercy he would say he he would say or he would said <laughs> he would say your blessings carry the weight of real truth who who other than your devotees can bless bless me with the mercy to receive devotional attachment to the lord's lotus feet see who other than real devotees can give you that because nobody else knows that see if you don't have that kind of devotion, you're not a real devotee. You would it wouldn't even conceive to give that blessing, or you you might do it because the scriptures and you might be imitating that kind of devotee. I've seen that before, you know. But you don't have the power to give that blessing where the people will get it. See, so the the Lord is just commenting on the truth. Oh, read that again. I'll just oh read okay. Heartwarming words such as these would fill Vishwambara with joy, lifting his face. See, may you, joy, because, wow, that's the truth. See, this is this Ananda. This, the Lord loved to hear the essence of truth. How many people would tell you that or give you that blessing? You know, you go to these other teachers and they want to give you, oh yeah, may you have the blessing. You come and we'll teach you and you'll get lots of money, you know. You come here, you'll have a great business. You know, I mean, that's not putting it down. It just is what it is. But the, the Lord is so pleased when somebody teaches and leads people on the, to the path of pure devotional service, which the devotees are. That's why, again, go ahead, more. He would glance at everyone, showering his mercy. He would say, your blessings carry the weight of real truth. See, real truth. See, pointing everybody in the direction of devotion. May you develop pure love of God. See, that is the greatest uh, goal, the greatest uh, pointer, direction, you know, everything. And so that, yeah, go ahead. Who other than your devotees can bless me with the mercy to receive devotional attachment to the lotus feet? Again, to the Lord's lotus feet. Yeah, who isn't that what we've been preaching? Who other than a real devotee can bless somebody with that attachment to the Lord's lotus feet? That's why that's the narrow gate. Unless you're a real devotee of Lord Krishna with real devotion, then you cannot give that blessing. You know, and that and that's how you can you know you can fool beginners and neophytes. Just like in the Pharisees did, oh yeah, we bless you, you'll get God. But they could never give it. They didn't have God themselves. They were still under the Maya. Okay? 
So uh, the Lord is teaching also. He's using the devotees and he's coming. Who other than, see, he's putting himself as a conditioned soul. Who else can give such a blessing? He's speaking the truth. He's showing the path by acting as a real disciple, he, a witness. He's like a witness. He's acting as a, saying, yeah, who other but real devotees like you can bless me to develop devotion or speak real truth? See, because they worship the Lord with loving ecstasy. Therefore, they know these things. Okay. <clears throat> Elevated devotees like yourself are capable of granting devotional service to the supreme lord see elevated devotees like yourselves are capable of granting devotional service now what is now we need to ask what is an elevated devotee <laughs> i didn't say who i said what is an elevated <laughs> and <laughs> is an elevated devotee somebody who um who has studied the Vedas? And, no. and is he somebody who's been, uh, um, what do you call, um, voted into no. the position as no. guru? Could no. be, no. if he's qualified. The thing is, does he have the, he might have the votes, but is he, is the person qualified? Is he an elevated devotee? Means, are you elevated beyond the mode of goodness, even? Otherwise, you're not yet elevated. We're talking Lord Chaitanya's standard here. Right? Lord Chaitanya said, even a perfect Brahman, and that's in the in the Vedas, in the Bhagavatam. He quoted a verse in Majalila. He said, not even a perfect Brahman with all perfect perfections can purify themselves or anybody else unless they're engaged in pure devotional service. That mean that's elevation. Now who has got that? Who is elevated like that? So what we're doing here is making very important distinctions for the world, for the future, for the now. If people, is anybody hungry to know what is the real path of pure devotional service? What are the qualifications of pure devotional service? What are the qualifications of a pure devotee? What is, or an advanced devotee? That's what we're teaching here. Okay? Because if you can understand and pass this course, then you will very easily attain this, this gift of pure devotional service. Because it's just a matter of receiving it, reception. And most people are blocking out this, this, um, this, this treasure, you know, this gift. They're blocking it because of not being instructed right. Did you have your hand up? Yeah, Sakchi says that she can't see it and Janaki can't hear it. Okay, what about everybody else? No sound or picture here. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, so no sound or picture. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, start another one. Okay, I don't know, maybe it was this thing. Um, Just find it was it a sound too? Was no, the sound's fine on my phone. And the picture's been fine every See, time I've looked at it. Are you on Bigelow or Facebook? Okay, what about everybody else? Facebook and every oh, it was working everything. No sound or picture. Just turn off the phone. So it was working nice. Yeah, it's working fine here. Is uh, can we get some more feedback here because it seems to be working perfectly here. Is it, is it, maybe it's just you guys. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, I'm just going to restart, okay? We'll restart it now. This is, here everything is okay for a change. Aha. Uh -huh. For once it's okay here. It's not with other. Okay, you know what this is? It's just, okay, you know what? You guys need to restart your phone. It's not us. You know, you guys uh, are prone not to do that. You know, I've been telling Janaki so many times. Well, she I did it pretty a lot, good. And it works. Yeah, and 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 okay. So you guys restart your phone because it's working. Yeah, yeah. Restart your phones, whatever you're using. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Continue on. Okay. His Holiness.
His mercy upon those who serve his devotees. So that was the end of it. I consider that it is due to my great fortune that you are teaching me this process of devotional service. You see, it's great fortune to meet a real teacher of pure devotional service that's teaching you pure the principles of pure devotional service. Not teaching you Vaidhi Bhakti, not teaching you like uh, just the Varnashram system or regular, but to teach you the essence and give you the blessing. May you develop pure devotional service and all these distinctions. What is the why? Why is there a problem with this with uh, Prabhupada's devotees? Because he didn't teach what we're teaching here. This is our work here. Because if he would have taught what I'm teaching here, well, well actually Krishna's teaching it through this person, okay, then we wouldn't have these problems, right? Everybody be listening to Prabhupada. But it wasn't time. They probably they wouldn't understand or hear him. You know, they hear where you gotta to teach what we're teaching, you gotta see ecstasy, not just hide it. You know, so he taught something else. Now, if anybody wants to learn what is real devotional service, it has to be taught like this. Yeah. And, uh, and otherwise, and it's got to be taught by an experienced devotee, person who is relishing ras. Okay. And then you will get this, otherwise not. Okay. So I'm going to read that one sentence yeah, yeah, again. If I can. Yeah, it's great. I consider that it is due to my great fortune. See, that... it's your great fortune or anybody's great fortune. See, we're, it's our great fortune. It's my great fortune to be able to share this, to teach this, to have such an order like this. And it's a great fortune of anybody who comes here and believes this preaching, comes to here to the point of saying, man, this makes more sense than anything out there. I think I'm going to be a keeper. I think this is a keeper here. You know? That kind of thing. And uh, and because it's great fortune. Can you imagine? You find you, this is washing up on the shore of pure devotional service. It's like so easily accessible here. Yeah, that's great fortune. Eh? And those who are getting this, whoa, my great fortune. Every day, they, oh, my Guru Dave, oh, you know, in <laughs> ecstasy. And they and their fortune increases more. And Krishna is so happy. Yeah, yeah, belt out where the path is, where I'm really working, right? That's why you feel happy. See, if you're, if you're not glorifying your Guru from your heart, from your experience, from your gratefulness, because you feel changed and a whole revolution in your life, a new person, new born, born again, you know, type experience, you know, then you, know, you don't know what it is because that's its nature. That's why those disciples of Jesus gave up their lives. It was so good to have this spirit of bhakti. Here also is the same thing. It's the greatest treasure. Janaki is saying she's not getting on. Error loading. I got nothing. I, I have, have also, also still problems here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you guys are just having problems. What are you going to do? So restart your phones or... Again, yeah. Yeah. Turn just, them back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, turn them back on. I don't know, man. Every one of the you complainers over there about this are usually the ones I know. You don't know much about your phones and stuff. So, you know, keep trying. <laughs> I had experience with them all. What is, how do you do this? You know? <laughs> Okay, well, you know, I, I don't think it's going to do any good if we restart. Maybe we should try. Okay, let's just, we're going to just restart the damn thing and see. Find out if everybody's satisfied, okay? So we'll restart it. Okay.
Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari. Oh, okay. okay, go ahead. Okay. So, I'm going to start from... <clears throat> My great fortune that you are teaching me the process of devotional service to the Supreme Lord. I know that I can become attached to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna if I, if I can serve pure devotees like yourselves. So again, see, that's the bottom line. If you're following a guru or a teacher for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, how attached are you getting to Krishna? Are you feel that you got attachment? Are you getting increasingly attached? Are you getting uh, uh, um, transcending the rules and regulations to just worshiping the Lord in ecstasy where the Lord is appearing in your heart? Because after five, 10, 20, 30 years, of worship like that, that where it's not at that attempt, you're just doing because of the rules and you just become like a bell ringer. Is that it? You got to understand the Prabhupada comment. He says most of these, uh, he said his God brothers, I mean, he said it, are like bell ringers. You know, they get their band, you know, they get disciples and they, uh, you know, they have wear their uniforms and follow the principles or don't follow, you know. Uh, yeah. And uh, and ring the bell and prasadam time and you know, you know that's that's as far as it usually goes without without um, this level of teaching from this level of a devotee. See, and the bottom line is how attached are you becoming to Krishna? People see, uh, you know, they look when they they come and criticize like religionists criticize our preaching, okay. But they, they're not looking at, well, hey, man, you know, what is, go, what is going on here? Are, are people getting attached to Krishna? That, isn't that really, isn't that the whole thing? See, so if a person is actually a pure devotee or an empowered devotee with the spiritual potency, and people are coming and they're getting attached to Krishna, transcendentally attached, not, oh, how pretty the clothes are today. Oh, she's looking so nice, you know. It's like dressing up a doll level, you know. Uh, no, how much ecstatic love is awakening in your heart? Are you sleepy? Are you ready for no, this? not at all. I know, it's, this is ecstatic. Uh, it's actually yawning is an ecstatic emotion. That's <laughs> <laughs> why so I asked her, are you sleepy? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yawning it's in there nectar of devotion check it out <laughs> yeah so that's the bottom line is and and so people need to check themselves gurus need to check themselves hey man you've been around since Prabhupada now how honestly attached are you to create do you are you so attached that you sometimes cry sometimes laugh sometimes choke up when you chant Hare Krishna are you laughing at me no Cooper <laughs> self her eyelids took me tight out. We might get a, a sound out of there someday. <laughs> <laughs> we got you know what? <laughs> you won't be able to do your class. <laughs> don't, no, don't hold back. We want a sound of nat if it's naturally coming down. Otherwise, you're going to be repressed. And it tries something's coming. Yeah, good, good, good. Just let it out. Yeah, I, I do feel that I was laughing. Like, oh, yeah. wow, that's great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, let's start. Yeah. Okay. In great humility, the Lord would fall down and catch the feet of the Vaishnavas. He would render menial to them by wringing the wet clothes of one, folding the dhoti of another. Sometimes he brought a heavy basket of flowers home for another, or the Vaishnavas would mildly protest, say, Oh, Vishnava, why are you doing this? You see how he's teaching the Bhagavatam here? You know, it's exactly the Bhagavatam. He's saying, I am so fortunate to be instructed by you. See, you're pure devotees. <laughs> it's Bhagavatam, man. It's the same, he's the personification of Bhagavatam preaching right here. 
See, by regular classes in Bhagavatam. I'm so fortunate to be instructed by you because you're pure devotees. See, but it's uh, uh, class talks about Krishna and te- being taught by a devotee who has got that mercy, uh, transcendental attachment to the Lord, and by service to the devotee. See, he's practically doing some practical service. You know, back then that was, you know, hey man, oh, let me f- do this, get you some water, you know, get you a cup of coffee, you know, stuff like that. Another hint. <laughs> no, I got enough today. Oh, Marge, wash the dishes today. I washed the dishes. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. kitchen, Lolita, yeah, it was yeah. spotless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man, don't, I don't get Janaki service here. I I have to put my, 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 what do you call it? My chores. I got to do my chores here. <laughs> I get the boot, man. You, you don't do the chores, of, man. You more I could thank you. <laughs> I'm looking after two girls. I can't do anything. Yeah. Guru Maharaj made my breakfast today. Oh, I see. I even made her breakfast today. Don't, she had don't two ask. breakfasts. Yeah. Yeah, he made the other one. She eats like a horse. She's just Jesus. this little half pint. I don't know how, where she packs it. She's so small. It's because I'm eating tiny. all the time, but I never eat that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, I know. She doesn't eat much. She just <laughs> left half of everything. Yeah, she just picks it. <laughs> yeah. Like the crow. Yeah. yeah. What was? Oh, yeah. See, so that's the Bhagavatam. See, by regular classes in Srimad Bhagavatam, that's the chapter one, uh, no, no, chapter two, uh, first canto, chapter two, verse 18. By regular classes in Srimad Bhagavatam and by service to the pure devotee, all that's troublesome to the heart is taken out. See, and then uh, then unalloyed, then this, that's a love for the Lord awakens in the heart as an irrevocable fact. Now you, now you follow the path of prema, see? This is this is where the Lord said um, today we were discussing. Oh yeah, when the Lord appears in the heart, that is the best purification. Yes. See, so now you got the benediction of of following uh, by being instructed by a bona fide spiritual master. Now you're following the real Bhagavatam. That's why you could be in ISKCON or any group, any of these Vaishnava groups, but if you're not instructed by a pure devotee. You know, in the confidential science, like people are learning here, and how and how assist the devotees go through all this false ego throwing out, not just superficial external bhakti thing. You know, where you're just kind of going through the motions. That's basically Vaishnavism now. It's just everybody's external devotees and don't know how to process all this stuff coming out. Who's doing this kind of work? Nobody. Practically, I haven't seen actually one place where this has happened. This is so, so transformative because you go through the whole process here. You you get regular classes in Bhagavatam or Bhagavad, the Bhagavad truth and by service and by doing service. This service too is just by hearing is good and anything else you can do is gravy. Okay. And, and then, um, all that's troublesome starts to go very fast, and that's basically false ego identification. And the, and even before it's gone, gone, it, the Lord is awakening people's hearts and revealing Himself. And now you can follow the path of prema. You just keep watering that by hearing, chanting, remembering sadhu sangha, and all this, and it grows and it grows and it grows. Do you feel progressive? Oh, so much. Oh gosh, God. You see, you know. You know. So everybody should ask themselves, Guru should ask yourself, are you feeling progressive? To, you know, personally, a personal observation, some of my students are, are uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to exaggerate, so I'll just say a hundred times more advanced than many of these gurus. Well, yeah. A hundred times. I don't want to exaggerate. It's exaggeration. You know? And, and so I don't want to say it as, um, as a, like a put down, no, as a put up so people can move along. Do you want to move along, little doggy? Mm-hmm. You know, hey man, come on. You want to move along in Vaishnavism? You know, a lot of people have a hard time moving along. They stay in the same spot for a whole life and then they die in the same spot, more or less. See, here the opportunity is here, man. God, you know, got the order of Prabhupada, got the blessing of Krishna, Got the potency. Even before they came, I was worshiping for years in ecstasy. 
That's why they came. Okay, man, you know, you've done enough. Now benefit your brothers and sisters out there. What do you think? Prabhupada was busting his butt, you know, getting writing books and doing all these things for, for this. So people become real devotees with real devotion and yawn a lot. <laughs> you know, so they yawn and yawn and yawn. Yeah, you went yeah. back to God. <laughs> You're on their way back there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> all the Vaishnavas would, would would sorry, all the Vaishnavas would mildly protest, saying, Oh Vishnava, why do you do this? However, the Lord would continue to serve the Vaishnavas in this way. The Lord would serve his own devotees and servants every day performing all varieties of errands for them. He is the supreme personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna himself. Yet he gave up his own position to serve his devotees. <laughs> you know, he's always doing that, you know. He's, he's doing that for everybody. Matter of fact, because when we're doing something because of what we desire, who is doing it? You think we're doing it? No. No, 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 no. There's five factors of action. And the ultimate doer is who? Krishna. The super soul. Super soul. <laughs> On our own, we can't do anything. This is, see, we can't do anything. And the more we engage in devotional service, because even this other bullshit activities we may do, you know, with a little bit of uh, some sin, you know, sin, sinful things, you know, you know, stuff in the modes. What, like, have some popcorn? Yeah, whatever. No, just whatever it is, you know? Just whatever is not really perfectly in line. Oh, okay. He kind of, he does, okay, you know, he had a little of that. You know, get your fill. And 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 we just keep doing more of this, and just this gets more and more important, and then the other stuff starts dropping more. Yes. You yes, know? Definitely. Such a nice path. Path of Prema. Yes. The Lord yes. wants everybody to follow it. You make the right connection. Yeah, and then you can follow the very quickly. Prem will awaken in your heart here, and then you then all you do is just wow, these books are so great, man. You do it like Johan Lita. You pick up your book, pick up the name, chant, ha 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 ha, you know, and make spiritual advancement and get everybody to laugh at you. You know, they all make fun of Lalita Ganga and and Johan, but what, do they care? Nope. No, no, because now when you have the spiritual potency, now everybody shows their position. If you're really related to Krishna, fools deride you when when you uh, when you descend when the Lord descends and when you're chanting and the Lord descends into your heart or awakens in your heart, the Lord has descended. The Lord is awakened. Therefore, fools will laugh at you, and they just show their position. <laughs> And devotees don't care because you're in knowledge. Okay? You understand, oh, well, you know, this is, if they laugh at Krishna, they're going to laugh here because he's living with me too. See? So, yeah. Okay, go ahead. All the scriptures proclaim that Lord Krishna is everyone's dearest friend. Lord Krishna never hates or dislikes anyone. He is equally disposed to all living entities yet he is even willing to to break this injunction for his pure and devo and dedicated devotees the proof of this statement is that lord krishna eliminated duryodhana duryodhana mm -hmm. entire family mm -hmm. it is the natural tendency of a pure devotee to serve the supreme lord krishna and it is Krishna's nature to serve his devotees. Oh. Yeah, you know, and this is, see, he breaks his par his uh, impartiality. And that's, you know, that's really important for when he does it for his devotee. Because if he didn't, nobody would be liberated. Because everybody is asking for material boons in this world. So he's supplying them. See, he's equal everywhere. What do you want? To give this, give this. I want to, I want to, you know, do this and do this and do this. And it's usually not spiritual. Okay? So the devotees, uh, the Lord breaks that impartiality to serve his devotees. So the devotee, what did he do? He, he, he caused the Lord to descend and break his impartiality. 
and preach pure devotional service and liberate people. Demonstrate that in this world. Yeah. See, and so it's not like just the Lord broke his impartiality to kill a bunch of people over there and they were burdening the planet, but it's actually to give bhakti to the world. Okay, so now the Lord needs to break his impartiality now, same thing now, if ecstatic love is going to awaken, because why isn't it here? In most places, why isn't it here if the Lord is just, it's just going to come? No, the devotee is going to bring it here. The devotee is going to bring Krishna here. Okay, like Jesus, of myself, I can't do this. I can't do nothing. Okay? So the devotee, Jesus, was praying for the Lord to come and benedict people. Especially he prayed for his disciples. He said, Lord, you give, they came and they believed that your words, uh, my, these words coming from this mouth, first from you. See, <clears throat> conclusive. Okay? So therefore you give them, as I am, let them be. Okay? Same thing here. Whoever believes this crazy so-called crazy preaching here. Let them be as I am. And even better. Yeah. yeah. Let them be. Let them be able to relish the name. Let them be able to relish these scriptures in ecstasy. Let them be able to chant uh, Rupa Goswami and Prabodhananda Sarasvati's works in ecstasy. See? All because... Why you believe and you 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 become you you're submissive to this these words and these teachings you believe Prabhupada and uh, sent sent me into the world here, I mean you know sent me preaching given me the order but Krishna gave the play you believe that, you know and so the Lord is very happy that you believe his his uh, empowered representative. Okay, and that's and that's how it works. You know, the Lord is, oh wow, you believe my Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I believe, I believe. <laughs> I also believe. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Lord Krishna became purchased by the love of his surrendered devotees mm -hmm. who are thus able to control him. See how it works? This is what you get from uh, from in, in, coming in the real process, learning from a real devotee, getting instructed, serving that devotee, the Lord awakens in your heart. That's the purchase. First, you get the gift, and now you purchase the Lord that way. Now you engage in pure devotional service, and 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 he awakens in the Lord. You pur you've purchased the Lord. See? You purchase the Lord by... Getting buying it from the devotee, who actually gives it away, he's just giving you the gift. See, so now the Lord is purchased, and he uh, and uh, and he comes to you. Just you just start doing your bhajan, man. And the Lord starts coming. Yeah, it purifies your heart, makes you happy, empowers you, yes. inspires yes. you, takes away oh, your loneliness, yeah. Oh, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. Satyabhama in Dwarka can bear witness to this statement. And all the devotees here too. Oh yes. The Supreme Personality, Lord Krishna, was now living secretly in Navadweep as Lord Gorasundra, Sri Vishmba. Yet, no one could recognize the Lord and the purpose for which he had accepted this incarnation. Yeah, see, he was secretly there. Just like when the devotees are around also, the Lord is secretly there and people can't realize it until the Lord's desire. And actually, basically it takes both. The devotee has to reveal the Lord and then the Lord reveals the devotee. Okay? It's a simultaneous thing. The mm. sun and the moon arise at the same time. Uh, the sun is Krishna and the moon is, is, the, is the devotee who reflects the truth of Krishna on their body, see, in their tears, in their ecstasy, and in their mind, in their revelations and realizations, coming through their words. Okay? So that's the real Krishna. That's very, those words are very powerful. They, they, what they say 
happens. Okay? If, you're, if you've got a false prophet or a false guru or a false spiritual master or a false acharya, all synonymous there, a false prophet, see? they'll speak, they'll say, yeah, come here, we'll give you Krishna or God, or but you don't get. So you got to get through them. That's why we have a few of those too. And they went there and they say, they say the right words sometimes, but you don't get. Okay? Here, you get. Lalita says, yes, we we know because Krishna gives us confirmations. Yeah, the confirmation, just like I said, how attached do you are you feeling to, to Krishna being an association of a particular guru? So, wow, yeah, I'm really feeling transcendentally attached. There's the confirmation. Wow, it, tears come to your eyes when you think about your guru, when you hear from them, or you feel really inspired. Ah, there's the confirmation. Who's doing that? Krishna in the heart. Okay? Uh, that's why you got to be a little bit um, ready for this because a lot of people are kind of cut off from their hearts, uh, sometimes too much, and they can't, they can't make the connection. The Lord can't communicate well with them. So therefore, they misunderstand the devotee. Yeah, that's why Jesus said, I come to teach those who are taught by God. The meaning is what? The super soul taught by, you know, they get, they can feel that the confirmation. Because some people, I've seen this, when I was preaching, sometimes people come and they get it. They really get, they're inspired. But then somebody comes along, usually their previous guru or their guru now. And some of them get kind of, they, wow. And they go and tell their guru and it goes, and they believe them and then boom, they're gone. See, there's no root. Jesus talked about the word has no root in some people, or their mothers drag them away, or family, or something. Yeah, mm. see, connect different things. Could be school, could be a job, you know. And they and you get so involved in your job or your school that you're dragged away. You never come. Right. So different ways, yeah. So that's why I say, you know, leave room for to cultivating this. This is the most important thing in life. It really is. This, you know, how many jobs and how many lifetimes have we had? How many schools have we went to? Does this knowledge last? It's only for survival. You know, and so if you put some time in this, it's going to benefit you eternally. Okay? This goes with you. This is, Jesus talked about this. He's called it, put money in your uh, spiritual bank account. You know, not the, the, don't uh, be so concerned about with, with uh, moss, moth and dust corrupt. See? <laughs> Everything that's temporary is corrupted by dust coming on there, you know? And, uh, oh, you moths know, eat your clothes. Yeah, moths eat, yeah, moths eat your clothes, you know? People steal your money. See, so, you, you know, this is, but this, this is eternal stuff. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Whosoever desires to take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna must serve his pure devotees. Lord Gorachandra personally taught all the living entities that service to Vaishnavas is the highest form of worship. Read that again. Whosoever no. yeah, 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 right from there. Whosoever desires to take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna must serve his pure devotees. See, if you have, this is why, that's, this is the path of greed. If you really desire, I mean, really desire to, um, what is it? Desire to what? Whoever, say that. Lot, uh, to serve, um, no, whoever desires to take shelter of Lord Krishna ah, must serve his, yeah, his pure devotion. Yeah, to whoever wants, actually, whoever wants the shelter of Lord Krishna, and that may, that's the better word. See, not desire for the... No, who, say that whole sentence okay. again, I'll correct it. Okay. Who, whosoever desires to take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna... Okay, both are right. So, yeah, if you desire to, to take shelter of Krishna's 
low sweet, if you desire to have that shelter. And what is that shelter? It's not just an empty word. Desire to have that shelter means attachment. It's the only thing that keeps, is the only thing to purchase Krishna is transcendental attachment to his, his pastimes, his name, his word. That's him. That's his feet, man. Yeah. And if you desire that shelter or you want to have that shelter, you have to do what? You have to serve his pure devotees. You have to serve his pure devotees. Okay? Serve them. And it starts with hearing from them. Yes. Get purified like this. Yes. Okay? And also practical service comes, you know. Uh, otherwise, your time will be whittled away out in other ways, you know, that actually degrade you, move you away. So that's why you, you got to do some kind of service a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Lord Gorachandra personally taught all living entities that service to Vaishnavas is the highest form of worship. Lord Vishnubara. See, service to Vaishnava. You know, I've had people who didn't understand that. They left. They left. They thought, well, I'm going to do some deity worship. On their own, they decided. But serving the Vaishnavas is the highest form of service. You know why? Because that's how you're engaged in the confidential service of the Lord. Practical stuff. You know, stuff that is accepted by the Lord. As soon as you leave, the association of a, of, of a bona fide spiritual master that the Lord is giving you that that um, connection with, then you're 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 disconnected again. Now you're in the still in the mundane world in speculation and and you're serving like that. A lot of people are serving like that with speculation, and they're not quite really connected because it's got to be connected by a pure devotee. Pure devotee means they're deeply attached to Krishna on the transcendental platform. Now that's where you're going to be delivered, not the practice gurus and teachers. Mm -hmm. See, the ones that are not, they don't understand this conclusiveness of the real path. See, you get that conclusiveness by a real devotee who has that real relationship. They just tell you how like it is. It's right there in front of everybody. If you're not acting according to this verse as a disciple or as a guru, then you can't play this game of transcendence. You cannot in this life get uh, liberated. But if, you, if you're a disciple that has got the good fortune to have an empowered representative of Krishna, you're going to be delivered in this life. Unless you're like a Judas or something. You know, Judas betrayed Jesus. See, and that happens. You know, there'll be people coming here who they'll just one day just say, I don't believe, you know, go and do. Yeah. You know, that happens. Um, but that's, but they made a connection and in some life, they'll, probably the next one, they'll get it. It's, Maya just sometimes comes in there. If there's a strong weakness, you know, it usually gets it. It's wanting to be equal with Guru, equal with God. It's a Mayavadi kind of ingrained. But the Lord gets them eventually, very quickly. Just by the fact they come to a guru, they do something. Just like a lot of Prabhupada has a, had a lot of disciples. Just by the fact they made a connection with them, they'll be dragged into the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not this next life, but you know, in due course. Okay. Lord Vishnubara did not feel ashamed to serve his devotees. He did all sorts of menial service for them, carrying things for them, washing their clothes. The Vaishnavas, however, respectfully held his hands and tried to dissuade him. See, that's... Now, see how the Lord, he's, he wasn't ashamed to serve his devotees. See, that's, that's how you know. See, this is, this is, this is the, the test that when you get the spirit, then you boldly serve the, you serve the devotee, like a preacher. You, you, how do you, how's the, really the best service here? You, you, you love Krishna, man, and, and you do it in such a way you testify and, and liberate other people. You pay forward what you got. 
See, there, and there's you go beyond shame. And people, and the test is like Lalita, Ganga, and Johan, they keep standing up, they, they keep engaging. My God, I think, you need a, I think you need a good sleep. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, they engage yeah, boldly like that. And people laughing at them and all that stuff, so doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, not ashamed. Yeah. See, you go beyond shame. Yes. You know, hey, yeah, you think, oh, well, it's your fault for being so foolish and so uh, stupid. You know, you can't see where gold is. Uh, see, now that's, a, that's when preaching starts to really manifest. You know, when you really get this, you really realize yes. the value. The Lord oh, yeah. confirms it, shows you directly from in the heart. Yeah. Mm, go ahead. <laughs> The devotees were very impressed with the Lord's humility. Okay, St. Francis says something. You mean that Sadhu Sangha is the only Dharma? Uh, Sadhu Sangha is the only... No, well, it's not the only Dharma. Dharma. Uh, if, you want, you want, if you want to attain Krishna the fastest way... So I'll just give you a quote. You, you decide. I'll just tell you what Krishna says. Krishna uh, in Bhagavatam, I don't, don't know exactly where, but I've... I've heard this one, and I know it's true, and you can find it somewhere if you want. Um, Krishna says, I'm not attained. Oh, yeah, this is in Madhurya Kandabini. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> and also Bhagavatam. It's a quote from Bhagavatam, but it's in there. Uh, so, I'm not attained by, uh, by um, um, austerities, renunciation or uh, or pious deeds and uh, and uh, and actually mantras chanting mm. mantras okay so but I'm very easily attained in sadhu sangha very easily attained in sadhu sangha and that's it that's the essence that's why all these books are teaching that that's why Lord Chaitanya's teach that's sadhu sangha so, yeah, is it the only dharma? No, there's all kinds of dharmas out there, mm -hmm. all kinds of occupations. Dharma means, you know, how to occupy your, t occupy your time. But Sanatana dharma, the eternal dharma, is found quickly through sadhu sangha. A real sadhu, a real sangha of sadhus, a person the, uh, that actually has realized God, real guru, sadhu, and shastra, when you have that, this is guaranteed. You're gonna. That's the best place to be. That's the blessed best dharma because it leads to sanatan dharma. You're becoming engaged in sanatan dharma, the eternal eternal um, uh, dharma of the soul. It's very natural. It's your soul is awakened and you just love God forever, you know, and you engage in devotional service forever. It's the only thing that will really, truly make you happy. You have experience of that. You become solid in that. You become fixed in that. You become happy with that. You become satisfied with that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's the path that we're do doing here. Yeah, it's the best. It's the quickest path to attain the highest result is Sadhu Sangha. Okay? So, yeah. Okay, what else we got? Any other comments? Okay. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, put them up there. I'm Go coming. Ahead. Go ahead. When I, when I first came to Christian Consciousness, I noticed that most of my videos were trying to prove to atheists that God existed. Trying to prove the, why... I shaved my head and became a monk, trying to prove, prove, prove. Mm -hmm. Now it's like there's there's no need to prove because mm -hmm. I'm, it's it's just it's obvious to me and it's upsetting for me that they don't get. But it's like I'm not here, I'm not trying to prove anymore because I think part of me didn't really believe that God was really there, so I was trying to prove to myself. But now it's just like, phew, yeah, way past that now, way. Past. Okay, so what, what, what are you doing then? Oh, no, what am I doing now? Yeah, relishing. Yeah, um, relishing. Too. Yeah, relishing and, and trying to hold on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, relishing is, that's the next stage. The other stage is, 
is when you don't have taste for mm. this. You have a taste in knowledge, you know. It's There's a taste in there, like study the Vedas and preach that Krishna mm -hmm. is this mm. way and that way. You haven't really experienced much of Krishna. Mm. It's kind of in name still. Mm. And and you're proving to people by, you know, arguments yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. But the next, this stage is, is, a, is a stage of tasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stage of tasting. This is what Lord Chaitanya came to give, even the unqualified, that we're giving even the unqualified. Well, you're qualified just by by getting accepting the mercy. And you come here very quickly, you start tasting. Okay? And, and then that's how you preach. You taste and you preach. And most will at first reject because, you know, it's it's like, oh, that's weird. Uh, we never see that. You know, this is abnormal. And, you know, a lot of a lot of people are like that. Remember that movie, Jonathan Livingston Seagull? Yes, yes, one? with the bird. Yeah, he's up there flying high. And all the other birds say, what are you doing up there? Don't you know you're not supposed to do that? You know, this, this is devotional service. That's his path we're preaching. It's right, right up there, man. It's, it's right there as it is, right where Lord Chaitanya is. It's at that elevation. You know, and so a lot of Vaishnava, they're looking, what are you doing up there? That's, uh, that's not weird. That's not abnormal. That's, uh, you know, that's not the way pre Krishna consciousness is being preached now by all these other persons. See? But do we drop down and, and say, oh, okay, we give up the bath. We'll just do what you say and come down there. No, you stay and continue. And at a certain point, it breaks. This is what I meant. 22 years I was preaching like this. You can see even some of the old videos, more or less was preaching like this. And, uh, it's, and, and there's a certain point, it just broke, you know, where people came they just you know the atmosphere gets purified enough i you know the devotee yeah i was gets purified enough by preaching and tasting and tasting and the power grows and then the lord does something mm -hmm. okay okay <clears throat> The devotees were very impressed with the Lord's humility. Did I read that one? Doesn't matter, read it again. Yeah. With all good intentions, they blessed him, saying, Worship the lotus feet of Krishna. Remember only Krishna and always chant his holy name. May Sri Krishna be, a de be as dear to you as your very life. Always repeat Lord Krishna's name and become his dedicated menial servant. May only Lord Krishna be manifest within your heart and may your association free us from all suffering. By your grace, may all of those wretched fools who ridicule the chanting of the Lord's holy name drown in the nectaring flood of Krishna Prim. You have defeated the entire world with your knowledge of the scriptures now. In the same way, you must annihilate the fallen atheists with the purity of your devotion. May, may we, by your mercy, be overwhelmed with happiness through chanting Krishna's name and dancing in ecstasy. All the Vaishnava devotees touched the Lord and blessed him. Then they revealed to him the sorrows in their hearts. Alas, in Navadweep, all the scholars and teachers speak endlessly on various subjects. But when it comes to explaining the process of devotional service to Krishna, they remain silent. There are many great scholars, stalwarts of the renounced order and ascetics, ascetics living in Navadweep Yet, not one of them is heard glorifying Lord Krishna. Instead of praising the Lord's pastimes and explaining the process of devotional service, they are always criticizing. A sinful audience hears their words and believes in them. Thus, they trust us. 
Thus they trust us worse. Oh, I don't get this. Thus they trust us worse than dirt on grass in the street. Treat us. Treat us. Oh, okay, treat. sorry. Thus they treat us worse than dirt or grass in the street. My Lord, chanting, chanting of Krishna's names cannot be heard anywhere. So we are. So we are burning in the fire of distress. However, we now see that Lord Krishna is now pleased with us. Therefore, he has inspired you from within to take the path of devotion. Now we know that you will surely be the cause of annihilating the atheists. May you live forever chanting the holy name of Krishna. And may all the transcendental qualities of Krishna be revealed to you, to be revealed to you, to the entire world. Say that again. And then it's through, I think. Okay. I think so I need the just, light on. Just the last verse. May you live forever chanting the holy name of Krishna. And may all transcendental qualities of Krishna be revealed to you, might be wrong, be revealed by you to the entire world. There we go. Sorry. Okay, may all the transcendental qualities of Krishna be revealed by you, you to, to the, the entire world. That is so important. Is so that is so all important. You get up and do it. I'm going. You're not me. I'm going. My eyes are going funny. All right. I right. help these days. <laughs> what kind of help can you get these days? Yeah. So yeah, this is so important. Read that verse again. Okay, I mean that just last that sentence. sentence yeah. Yeah. May you live forever chanting the name of Krishna, and may all transcendental qualities of Krishna be revealed by you to the entire world. That's what we're doing here. Okay? That's it in a nutshell. Revealing the transcendental qualities of Krishna. Not material qualities of not teaching Varnashram Dharma, not teaching rules regularly, you know, teach, teaching, uh, revealing the transcendental qualities of Krishna. That's that, you know, uh, Veda Vyas, he, he was disheartened teaching Varnashram Dharma only and even liberation. And Narda, and so he, he, uh, Narda Muni came. And uh, and instructing him, he was an ecstatic devotee. He said, "No, reveal more of the transcendental qualities of Krishna. Then you'll be satisfied, and you'll satisfy the Lord, and you'll sa and satisfy living entities by when the devotion awakens in them, they'll be so grateful. See, but you got to reveal the transcendental qualities. And so Prabhupada, the, he didn't do that much except write it in his books. Why do you think he liked being writing in his books?" It was his priority because he was ecstatic doing it. You know, because he was writing the transcendental qualities of the Lord and to get things going, he was preaching temple worship, Varnashram Dharma, fasting, all these preliminaries. Okay? But now, this is, see, the Lord wanted to teach spontaneous devotion and they got the blessing. This is like he got the order from the Vaishnavas to train, preach the transcendental qualities of the Lord and liberate people on that platform. That's why this is working like this and people are getting ecstatic devotion because we're preaching the, the deep transcendental nature of Krishna and his pastimes, his qualities, the path. Okay? Guru Tattva, the real Guru Tattva, not some checklist thing, some some practice, you know, that doesn't bear fruit in in uh, well, doesn't bear the the fruit it will bear is you meet the, eventually Guru and their blind gurus and blind followers. You meet the elevated devotee who knows these kinds of things, who reveals the transcendental qualities of the real path, of the real guru, of rasa, what it is, shows it, demonstrates it, teaches about it. Okay? Okay, so we're in alignment with this, this dispensation again, and that's why people got love of God then, and that's why they're getting it now, because we're revealing the transcendental qualities of Krishna in so many ways. Absolutely.
<clears throat> the Lord accepted the blessings of his devotees. See, this deep. is what Bhakti Vinod Thakur said. See, Bhakti Vinod Thakur said that uh, um, usually the Acharyas ascertain the truth. They usually ascertain the truth and keep it for themselves. Therefore, people don't, they, they just teach neophytes. Therefore, they don't get leaf, leaf, uh, liberated at that time. It's, uh, you know, more stages, more down the line for them. See, but if they, if an Acharya ascertains the truth and then doesn't just keep it for themselves and then gives it to their disciples and others, they, now people will start to get, you know, liberated from, they'll know the real path. You know, the real path isn't Varnashram Dharma. That's a, some preliminary thing. They don't even know it's preliminary. So one guy is teaching Varnashram Dharma. He's writing a book in, in, in Iskon, writing a book saying Varnashram Dharma is Sanatana Dharma. No, it isn't. How can that be the eternal Dharma, Varnashram? It's a mundane material system in the mode of goodness. And you see what people do. They write books and people believe it. Is, do you think that's transcendental knowledge? you think that's the transcendental qualities of the Lord? No. Yeah. Okay. The Lord accepted the blessings of his devotees with deep gratitude for Vaishnav... Okay. The Lord accepted the blessings of his devotees with deep gratitude for a Vaishnava's blessing will surely increase one's attachment to the lotus feet of Krishna. However, the distressing plight and words of the devotees affected Sri Vishwamba, and he considered revealing himself very soon. The look, can I read that again? Yeah. The Lord accepted the blessings of his devotees with mm. deep gratitude, for a Vaishnava's blessings will surely increase one's attachment to the lotus feet of Krishna. However, the distressing plight and words of the devotees affected Sri Vishnava and he considered revealing himself very soon. The Lord replied. No, not yet. Uh, okay. Yeah, you see, this is, so the Lord considered revealing himself very soon because he was, the devotees were distressed. Nobody's listening to us. They don't believe us. They treat us like dirt. They, and so the, Lord's, the Lord was before hiding, not showing himself. Who is himself? Satchitananda, right? In, the, in a form. <laughs> so revealing the Lord revealing himself means he's going to reveal his ecstasy. He's going to reveal the, confident, the transcendental qualities of the absolute truth. Okay? So... That's that's the revelation, and so that's um, so when this is preached again, like we're preaching now, we're doing following the footsteps of the Lord. Now we have the order. <clears throat> See, he 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 actually got the order from the Vaishnavas. Is it may you be blessed to, to reveal the transcendental qualities of Krishna to the world? See, and those transcendental qualities is that ecstatic devotion. Isn't that a transcendental quality? Yes or no? Reveal that to the world? Yes or no? Yes. See? Prabhupada also said to me, reveal it to the world. Yes or you know, he came and did the same thing. You see, it's we're just we're just following in the footsteps of what has already been done in that way. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ got the same order that the voice of God came and said, this is my beloved son who I'm well pleased. Now listen to him. Right? So this is amazing what's going on. It's amazing. We're here, we're doing this work that was done 500 years ago. We have the blessings and the parampara behind us. See, this will not fail. We haven't, we're already success. I mean, this is, you know, hopefully people will understand that you come and listen, you'll see the greatness of the order we got here, the greatness of what you can get here. Can you imagine you can end your cycle of birth and death in this life? It's finished and you get so much more than that. Excuse me for asking. Good. Thank you. <laughs> no, no excuse. <laughs> 
I'm wondering, what are you reading from and which verse? Okay, great. No, they can't see it that way. Um, it's the, you, you, you tell me. Chaitanya Bhagavat, and it's the um, chapter 2, Majya Kanda chapter 2, and it's page 251. Well, no, 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 not that. Tell them the verse. The page was... Is the verse numbers there? Okay. No, there's, there's no verse. Like yeah, this Chaitanya Bhagavat, no verse numbers. Page. You just have to go, and, and, and there's different little translations and all that. Okay, so yeah, printing. this Chaitanya Bhagavad printing, and this one's abundant by Iskon, I think too. I think so, is it? <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I'm, <clears throat> there's a. So, I'm so fortunate. Krishna sent me here, full gratitude. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So anyway, I can't find the verse, but that's just look in there and you'll find it in chapter two of. Majikanda of Chaitanya Bhagavad. The Lord replied, You are all beloved devotees of the Lord. Whatever you say must certainly happen. My life is truly blessed by your encouraging words. I know that when you glorify the Supreme Lord Krishna and chant his holy name, then there is no one who can stop you even not even death. Yeah, because they're they're ecstatic devotees. And no one, <laughs> Yamaraj, Maya doesn't touch such devotees. That's the secret here. You know, we just continue to take shelter of the Lord and his pastimes and name with attachment. And Yamaraj, we read chapter, uh, chapter six, no, chapter three, in the uh, Canto 6 of Bhagavatam, he instructs his, mem his uh, devotees, this is Yamaraj, this is all true, man. Do not go near the devotees. Don't even go near Ajumil. He wasn't even really, I mean, he chanted the holy name in Nama Bas. You know, this is why we get so much protection here. Maya doesn't, doesn't she would she stays and so these guys are on the right path. I don't have really much jurisdiction with them. If I've got some people that have some weakness, some doubt, she she teaches a little bit there. But basically she's very careful about these people know you know, they they're on the path. I don't need to teach them to not to like to be fixed in devotional service. Many people are coming like that. This is great encouragement for the people of the world. Look at this. People are really fixed on the real path, eternal path. This path that Lord Chaitanya taught, his devotees taught. It's being taught again now. See, so Maya is thinking, oh my God, you know, this is... <clears throat> You know, what can I teach these people? They already found the real path and are following it. They're out of my jurisdiction now. This is what Yamara said. Don't go near the devotees who have strong attachment to Krishna. You know, bring me those who are adverse to the honey of the name, the pastimes and qualities of Krishna. You bring me those persons. And don't touch the real devotees. That's why I said, you know, you know, they're not in the jurisdiction. Many devotees here are not in the jurisdiction of Yamaraj. If anybody's thinking in terms of that, then they're not really free. They don't know what it is to be free of that. When you're free of Yamaraj's grip, you think like a real devotee. You're not thinking in the terms of good and bad and, and uh, um, um, pure and impure and all that. It, it's all modes of nature here. You know, just, what's that? Even the goodness is not thinking of that. You're thinking of transcendental things. You're thinking about glorifying the Lord. You're chanting the Lord. You love to step right up and boldly glorify the absolute truth. How, how Yamaraj said, hey man, don't touch those people. They're not under this, uh, they're people in the other world, even in Vaishnavas in religion. If you're still thinking karma, good, bad, this is pious, impious, and all that stuff, hey man, that's still mode of goodness. Yamaraj is, you know, he's in charge. Oh yeah, very good. Go up and... Uh, into the heavenly planets for a while. Oh, you some impious things go down there. You haven't, you, you don't chant the holy name in ecstasy and the pastimes in ecstasy. Therefore, you cannot dissolve sin. See, you don't know that yet. So you go up there and enjoy for a while and then come back. 
you know, to the world and then you'll try again. So you meet the devotee and are engaged. See, we got to chant the holy names with attachment to the Lord to be free. I think sincere Vaidis do not have to go to Yamaraj. Uh, uh, so, oh, sincere, yeah, if you're sincere Vaidhi and, um, and, and you have, a, like, you have some taste, transcendental taste for Krishna, then, um, you know, then uh, you could be free. It's like you, if you reach the level of, of who is it, Ajumil, See, Ajumil was also pretty much a Vaidhi, you could say, but he, he chanted Nama Bas. So if you can do at least Nama Bas, then, then you'll get the association of, of advanced devotees. But generally, people offend advanced devotees. They, they don't want to associate with them. See, even Yamaraj, he was an advanced devotee, but he didn't teach his servants the, the deeper thing until a certain point. He got the signal by this thing happening. Yeah. So, you know, I'm talking generally, it's specifically, you got to at least be a, a Chani Nama Bas. And see, Ajamil didn't die. He, he got a second chance to go and he did more bhajan in hard war and to, to get more perfected. Yeah. Yeah, so, but sincere vaiti, you still, you have to be, um, um, yeah, you know, if you, it depends, you know, if you're, you could be a sincere vaiti, but still, are you, are you attracted to the world and, um, and the path of pious and impious and all that? Because Yamara sorts all that stuff out. Yeah. So it just depends. If you're chanting Nama Bas, you're in a safe position. You'll get, you know, you'll be able to recognize the devotees usually. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> the Lord replied, You are all beloved devotees of the Lord. Whatever you say must certainly happen. My life is truly blessed by your encouraging words. I know that when you glorify the Supreme Lord Krishna and chant his holy names, there is no one who can stop you, not even death. What can a simple atheist do to you? Just continue chanting the glories of Krishna Chandra. See, you got to go beyond atheism, but Vaishnavas still are considered atheists. Now, in the deeper sense, if you're against liberated devotees. If there's a liberated devotee in this world and you go against them, that is sinful. I mean, really sinful. Matter of fact, you won't get ecstatic love until you're free of that fall. And and there's so many persons like that in religion. Look at the Pharisees. They were against Jesus, weren't they? Either do, will they get liberated? Would they get salvation? They have. They'll. They will eventually. But you have to prove that you uh, and get purified by the association of a devotee, a liberated devotee that is empowered to be guru. That's done here, this work. Because it. how can you... Oh, okay. Well, anyway, okay, move this thing. Okay. Um, what was it? I missed out on something. What, was, what did you read there? Um... about um, not even death can um, what can a simple atheist do to you yeah, just simple, continue yeah, chanting yeah. the glories yeah. of what can it, Chandra yeah yeah atheist so Jarasandha was following the rules and regulations of Vaishnava religion okay he was a, he served he was a he was a devotee of Vishnu and and he followed the rules and regulations very strictly and everything, and he was considered an atheist and a demon. Okay? People don't know what atheism is. Mm -hmm. See? Atheism means you're against God. 
And okay, you follow his rules and everything and all that. But pro but that's one of the biggest obstacles you got to get through. You can follow the rules and regulations perfectly. That's very nice. But if you criticize devotees, real devotees, who have liberated devotees, then you cannot get this ecstatic love that liberates you out of this universe. Okay? So that's still atheism because... Or it's still it's demoniac also because Jarasandha, even though he was such a nice per person, nice saintly king and all that stuff, he was against Krishna. And Krishna was what? From Vrindavan. And he was manifesting that. He wasn't manifesting his Vishnu form because Jarasandha was okay with that because Vishnu, you know, follow rules, regulations, that he's in charge of the mode of goodness. He follow, you know, manifest that in this world. So Krishna was manifesting the mood of himself in his extent, his true form, which is Sat, Chit, and Ananda. That's God, man. And if you're against that, you're still an atheist because you're against God. Isn't atheism against God? Okay? And the true nature of God is not a bunch of rules. That's, that's his material form. But the real God is Satchitananda. The proof that you're not an atheist in the purest sense is you're not against his transcendental form. You're not against a devote, an ecstatic devotee or the Lord when he's here. But the way now is if a devotee is manifesting the transcendental qualities of Krishna, which is Satchitananda in this world, and you're against him, you're still an atheist. Doesn't matter how perfectly you're following rules, how big a guru you are, how many followers you are, F. So subtle. So subtle, but so important. Mm -hmm. That's why we're teaching like this. This is the stuff the Acharyas ascertain and keep for themselves. Because if I if it's revealed and we're revealing it, whoever takes it to heart will get over that obstacle. And you don't even have to be blaspheming a Vaishnava yourself. All you have to do is associate with a guru who's blaspheming a Vaishnava and you're held back. You got to get free. The real Acharya does what Jesus says in that verse. They set free the captives. You're captive by that. Lord Chaitanya came to free the captives. He taught this. He said, my God, you know these people in, in religion, in Vaishnavism, they follow the rules and regulations, but they're blasphemers. Mm. And therefore I can't give them love of God until they're over that fault. Mm. Okay? That's, that's part of our work, to teach people about these things. You know, they, people don't know the real... Can you imagine these persons following Prabhupada for 40 years? They don't know the form of Krishna is Satchitananda. And that's going to be manifested on a devotee someday and before their eyes. Otherwise, you don't get a chance to go into the spiritual world. See? Even if you blaspheme a devotee that's alive and everything, hey man, you're getting your chance. You fall on your face for doing that and then maybe you learn your lesson and then oh hey, man oh good oh i see you know how many people they they that's the way it works when, when lord chaitanya was here he criticized the people criticized him look at the, all those mayavadis they criticized him and fell on their face and then they, they they learned their lesson and went back to godhead they chanted the holy name in exodus they start doing that a lot of people uh, Nichananda, the robbers, they went to rob. Yeah, they got a little purification and they became his devotees. Fell on their face and then got up. Yeah, look at Devananda Pandit. He was perfect Brahmin, everything, disciples preaching about Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Mm -hmm. But he, he offended a pure devotee. What happened? Ultimately, he became, got a little chastisement and then took to the path of taking shelter of a real devotee, purified got pure devotional service. He's in our line now. <clears throat> it's going to happen again. You watch. You watch. You think these teachings are being revealed for nothing? These are all true, what I'm telling you. This is all in this book. Okay? You know this. You know things that no, no guru will teach you out there. No guru even understands clearly out there. I haven't heard it. 
because they're caught up in the obstacle. Okay. A lot of the time they speak it. Oh yeah, be very humble before real Vai uh, Vaishnavas and all that. Always be really humble. And as soon as a real Vaishnava appears, you, the humbleness goes out the window. And they blaspheme. My own experience, man. I've seen it with my own experience and eyes. See? Therefore, it's not a wonder why they and their disciples don't chant in ecstasy and why they teach the path. Oh, many lifetimes you'll get prema. Yeah, yeah, because I see with my own eyes them people stealing my students and everything. They were on their way to getting prema. Okay? Now, it's just people will start to see it. Maybe some of those students will see. You know, they've been bamboozled. <laughs> Is that the word? Bamboozled? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Bamboozled. Yeah. Bamboozled. You don't want to be bamboozled. Do you? <laughs> That's not a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, Maya's always, you know, getting the weakness. It's all part of the pastimes of teaching bhakti, you know. We're all part of the Lord's pastime. He's here. What is he, you know, he's going to use anything and everybody and for his own purposes, yeah. you know. And it's great, you know. Everybody benefits, even people that have done mistakes. I've made mistakes, everybody made, you know. But we'll all learn from these things. Oh, I have made it. Yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a drink. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. What time is it anyway? It's 8 o'clock. I think we'll stop here. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming, everybody. Any comments or questions here? We can, uh, yeah, it's going to then look like it. You know, ultimately, ultimately, the Lord is saying, you know, keep, keep even if we, even if people uh, blaspheme you, the the real devotees and mm -hmm. things it can always change around it can always you can always oh, yeah. be uncovered no matter yeah. where you're coming from yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, you've yeah. done or whatever yeah. you said to anybody yeah. you know okay but yeah. if you come here when you come here all of that you know you're purify all of that oh, yeah. and you just hear clearly clear. and clearly sure, yeah. and you know whatever blaspheme you did yeah. you know it can't it changes and it just yeah. it's just the mercy just yeah. floods it just yeah. bathes and it just Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this, yeah, it's yeah. over very fast. Yeah. That's the, that's all the Lord's looking. At. If you just give respect to where He's working, it's such an undepotence. He's working here, and whoever comes to really get that and and become give some respect to that, the offense is gone. Yes, that's what that's what David underpunned how he got over the offense, and he was a nice. He was a great person i mean he was but he he just didn't understand this such and ananda it's not surprising now people don't and that's what we're part of our you know these pastimes the little war games and stuff like that yeah it's just part of learning what is the real truth manifested in this world such and ananda in a form empowered form yeah and that's it and when he understood that he understood uh, vakrishwar pandit was the path to lord chaitanya he and he he served Vakrishar Pandit very humbly. He became in line. He became part of our line. Yeah. So it's you know just it goes very everything goes very fast here. Awesome again. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Janaki, for encouraging encouraging our our work here. <laughs> yeah yeah okay thank you very much and we'll be thank back Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.